Thanks for clicking on this tech video. Today we're going to show you how to ensure that your braided hoses you're making at home are absolutely leak free and ready to go. So if you clicked on this video, you probably know that you're trying to make your own braided hoses, but you're not quite sure if you're going about it the right way. Uh, first of all, link down in the description or clicking somewhere here on a box for an explanation into all the different kinds of braided hoses and actually how to assemble them properly. This video is going to focus on once you assemble them, how to ensure that they are absolutely rock solid and leak free, which is a really important step because you know if you're assembling these at home and you're a bit of an amateur at doing it, you're not going to find out if this is leak free until you put it on the car and fuel comes pouring out everywhere or oil does or, or, or anything, any fluid that you're uh, hoping to keep inside these pipes for that matter. So let's take a quick look at how you can ensure uh, that your braided hoses you're making at home are absolutely leak free and ready to go. All right, so this is just a random hose I've got lying around that I can uh, demo with. And what I've actually got to show you uh, how to test this as a leak-free kit is this kit from uh, Raceworks. So it is the uh, Dash 6 kit. So they also do a Dash uh, 8 and Dash 10, but it, it really doesn't matter. You get one size and you can get little reducers and expanders. So, you know, you could realistically buy one kit if you want and a whole heap of reducers and expanders and make it soup every sort of hose you want. But pretty much this is what you get in the kit. You have uh, a gauge with an AN line, and then you have another AN fitting and a, a little valve there to uh, put your air pressure in. So we'll take the cap off, just like your normal tire, pumping up your tire. See there, Schrader valve. So now what we want to do is, I mean, it's super simple. You know, I think you already understand the principle here that it is, going to be screwing one end on here. The other end goes on the other end of your hose that you've made. And there you go, hey presto. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pump air pressure into that. We're then gonna monitor the gauge and we might let it sit there for say, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes and make sure it holds the pressure. If you are finding the pressure is dropping, what I would recommend is um, either listening, feeling where it comes from, or if you had a just a you know a glass of water or something, if you dip each end in the glass of water, you'll find you know which end's leaking, or if both are leaking, you know you've got a problem. Um, if you do have a leaking hose, uh, just tightening up might not be the best course of action. You might actually have to remake the hose, cut off a hose, and uh, remake it or something because you may have cross threaded something. Uh, so you just got to be careful of that. Also, if you're using, you know, different styles of hoses, you can't just reuse those sections of hoses too. Every hose has got its own different thing. So make sure whatever hose you're using and how you are going about fitting it, uh, look at the manufacturer guidelines there and how they go about how you're meant to assemble them. But uh, this is, honestly, this is something that every single at-home uh, backyard mechanic who's making AN lines should have in their kit. These are super, super cheap and they will tell you undoubtedly in no time if your hoses are up to the task or if they're not. So uh, definitely give these a look. Uh, you can go to like the raceworks.com.au, look up all your local dealers for Raceworks stuff and be able to sort one of these out for you. Uh, I've used these plenty of times and they're just a time saver, you know, um, especially if you're a bit unsure about braided hoses. It's super cheap to, you know, do the stuff at home yourself these days uh, with basic hand tools, but if you get it wrong, it can be catastrophic for your car out there on the street or at the racetrack and that. So no one likes, you know, engine fires or car fires or putting oil under your tires and destroying uh, your pride and joy in that. So this, uh, this little kit here goes a long way to making sure that won't happen. So, all right, that's exactly how you test, uh, make sure and ensure you leak-free AN hoses. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you next time.